Music from Buffalo Springfield at 8:44. We are uh, really excited to have Bob Marley in studio with us. You know, I'm, again, I am, I am, I, I'm the head of, of, of uh, the department of uh, Mike Moore and Sloppy Seconds. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and it's I'm nice. glad to be here, though, buddy. <laughs> We're rocking hard. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm doing the shows at the Palace this weekend. Exactly. You're uh, Friday night and Saturday, right? Yeah, one show Friday, two shows Saturday, and then I'm going to Florida. Am I going to Disney World? No. <laughs> Have I been to Disney World? Yes. Will I ever go again? No. 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 Perhaps the worst place on the face of the earth. And if they're a sponsor of the mill, I want to say this is just Bob Molly talking, not they, the mill. No, they're not. They're not. Listen, they're not. Okay. I went last. We went about a month ago, and, and, and you know, because we went during February break. Because really, who's going to be there then? Right. Right. Probably nobody. All of New England. Right. Unbelievable. <laughs> We get off the plane, it's a thousand degrees with humidity, and I'm like a typical New Englander, I'm all layered up. Yep. You know, better wear an extra layer. You know how New England people are. <laughs> it's easy, easier to take one off than try to find one if you need one. Better to have it and not need it than need it and try to find it and not be able to get it and whatever. <laughs> so I'm standing there and I've got one bead of sweat running down my fat locker. <laughs> Like I backed into a fountain, and my wife's makeup is continuously running. She looks like Dee Schneider from Twisted Sister. It was unbelievable, and it was just—it was a whole. I spent twelve thousand dollars at Disney World. Twelve thousand dollars. Yes. How many kids? Three kids. Three kids. That's a lot. And my mother. That's the thing. Oh. I went with my wife, my mother, and my three kids. You ever going to go anywhere with that collection? That's of people? what we call February vacation in quotations, that's right? right? That's, that's right. Quote unquote vacation. If you're going on a trip with that group of people, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to Cumberland Farms, take a hot pot of coffee, and pour it on your crotch. That will be a better day. It was. They are, they are a sponsor. Make sure you go there. I love Cumbies. <laughs> Cumbies is awesome. But it was unbelievable. So we're, we're there, and, and like I said, twelve grand, and, and that doesn't continuously resonate in your head right. as you're walking around the park. I was like Rain Man halfway Eating through. nine dollar corn dog. I was like twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> I definitely spent twelve thousand dollars. Maybe I could stand in front of a bus and get hit. I told my wife for twelve thousand dollars I could have bought a ten unit apartment building in Lawrence, Mass. <laughs> I could have bought Lawrence. They would have thrown Lowell in and the connector. Take it all, Bob. We don't care. For twelve grand. But anyway, we get down there and we decide to go. We're gonna go into the park now. And I don't know if you've ever been to Disney World. Yeah, oh yeah, many times. Above the ride, above the, the entrance to the ride, they give you a sign that tells you how much time you're gonna have before you get on the ride. Of course. Which I believe is is a bad idea. You know, you should lie to people. Just just write ten minutes or so. Don't write a hundred and eighty three minutes. You yeah. know, it's because I got two boys and they're gonna fight. I don't know when it's gonna happen. If they're eight exactly. and six, they're gonna start fighting. It's like an Irish bar. <laughs> So I look at the six-year-old, he's starting getting his leg into the eight-year-old's area, you know, yeah. and the, I'm looking at the eight-year-old going, if you want to knock him out, I will green light this right now. <laughs> I mean, that's what my dad would have done. My dad would have hit me once and I'd have been like, I got it, I'm good. Don't screw around in the 183-minute line or else I'm going to walk funny and pee to the left for the next couple of months. <laughs> so you, you can't do that now if you're a parent, right? Do you, you don't have kids yet. I don't have kids yet. No. I knew you Not didn't have I kids. Know. I knew you didn't have kids because you're like smiling. You're... I was at Dunkin' Donuts the other day. I was at the drive-thru and the lady looked in my car and she's just holding my coffee. She's not giving it to me. She's looking at the car and she goes... You don't have kids, do you? <laughs> I know, because you have, like, drive, ambition, will to exactly. live. I, <laughs> look at me. I have three kids. I'm barely getting through the My day. My friends are the reason why I don't have kids. Because right. they have kids. Right. And I see what they go through. Right. So I play with their kids and hang out with them and have fun and then go to the bar and hit on girls. Well, That's now, it. now it's great. It, as a great parent, great it's, such, it's such a political thing, right? Now, as a parent, you can't say what you're thinking to your kid. You can't do it. Every conflict re is resolved like this. What's happening here? What's going on, Jordan, Brody, or some yeah. baloney names? Like, <laughs> I'm feeling like you're feeling like we're feeling yeah. like there might be an argument. Caden, yeah. one, <laughs> two, Caden. I don't want you to have to sit on the stairs yeah. for almost a minute. <laughs> now, if you kids keep this up, I'm going to do absolutely nothing about it. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I know. I, I always say to my friend, like, I watch, and then, you know, the kids go away, and I'm like, I'll tell you what Jerry Coffey would have done in 1990. I'll tell you what would have happened in my house. My dad would just stare at me, and I'm like, oh, I pooped my pants. I'm sorry. Here we go. So, and I saw full-grown adults at Disney World without children. Yeah. Full-grown couples, like, in there. It's actually a lot of fun. A friend of mine is an actor, an equity actor yeah. in, in, uh, in uh, Disney World. And it's a lot of fun when you're by yourself. It's actually, 
Well, Walking around MGM, half in the bag, is actually well, like absolutely tower, tower of terror. I but mean, if you're like 55, 60, and you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like you think they go to the Bahamas. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I would go with my friends if I could go out drinking. Of course, that'd be unbelievable. But we got down there, and the place is just a mob scene. And we got my mother with us, and I love my mother. But in this particular situation, she's just the topper. It's on, the worst. Uh, it's the worst. It's like uh, it's a thousand degrees humidity right now. I, I'm chafed in places I can't even see. <laughs> what can make this a little worse? I got an idea. Let's bring Ma. <laughs> she's she's never been out of New England. That won't be stimulating for her. She got down there. It was like she was on an acid trip. She's like, oh, oh, oh. and her pace through Disney World. It was like I, I, I don't even know. I can't, she's seventy three, and my kids are like, what is she doing? She belongs in Florida. That's, I think that's the rule in New England, right? After 70, you have to... That's where they have go. They love it. Florida. We got a double wide in Ocala. <laughs> We're headed down. We got a nice pad down Summer, there. Summertime in Manchester. You, it's like it's like all Florida plates. You know what I mean? It's unbelievable. And so and so we're there. And I said to my mother, you know, because my kids are freaking out because she's walking too slow. And you can't say what you're thinking to your kid. Because, you know, I grew up Irish Catholic. You don't say what you're thinking, do you? Right. You, don't, you don't talk smack about your mother. Right, no. But yeah. you can't look, you feel, like, you know, you feel like looking at your kid going, you know, you don't think I know? You don't think I realize this? <laughs> I'm here with her and you. I spent 12 grand, you little punk. <laughs> you can't say that, you know. So I said to my mother, I go, Ma, you got to pick the pace up a little bit. You're killing us. You know, we want to get halfway through the Magic Kingdom in a month. <laughs> and so she goes, I love the harder culture, Bobby. The what? I said, the what? The shrubs, they're all like little Disney characters. Gorgeous. I go, yeah, just get on the monorail before I have a heart attack. So we get on the monorail. This is word for word what my mother says. When I get home, I'm going to trim my bush like Goofy. <laughs> Good times. Good. There's another guy in the monorail just looked at me. He's like, ah, it's going to be a long week now, but Listen, as long as I got problems, I got jokes. If you come to see me at the Palace Theater <laughs> this, this weekend. This weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a whole new show. I change the show every year I come. And uh, it's hard not to change the show. I mean, it, it, when you live and things happen to you, I just keep writing stuff down. I'm like, okay, well, here we go. So I'll be over there um, Friday night, one show, two shows Saturday night. And uh, it's palacetheater.org, and they, they, it's theater with a T-R-E on the end. Yes. Theater. Theater. Yes. Theater. Uh, or vmarley.com. That's my address. And uh, it's, a, it's a great show. Come on and get some laughs. It's a, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to be there on uh, Friday night. Awesome. Yeah. You're going to bring us up? What's that? I'm not bringing you up. Okay. I don't think. I don't think. They haven't sure. asked. My pimp is here. He would know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's, let's get you up there, man. Come on up. Let's get you up there. Break the ice. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Well, yeah, all right. Uh, so it's uh, so it's this, and of course, 668-5588-2 for the box office. Yeah. If you don't have the intranets. Yeah, if you don't have the internet, call on by the telephono. It's 603-668-5588, and uh, it's going to be a great time. Come on over to the Palace Theater, downtown Manchester, Hanover Street. This weekend. Bob Marley, thanks for coming on this morning. Wicked. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, brother.